I'm safe up high. Nothing can touch me. But why do I feel the party's over? No pain inside. You're like perfection. But how do I feel this good sober? Hi, everyone. It is Thursday, April 4th, 2024. Another day on this floating rock. Is this everything that you thought it would be and more? When you were birthed into this simulation, did you think that this is what you would be doing all this time later? I did. Oh, I did. Up <laughs> uh, oh, high. Surviving survivor. He stole my idea. Uh, live chat. There we go. I'm safe up high. Nothing can touch me. But why does Chantal feel like this party's over? I feel. Burr, burr, burr. I was hoping there would be a live. Well, you hoped and it came to fruition, Rebecca. Don't you like when life works out that way? I do, personally. I was hoping for Alicia content. Oh, Alicia. Okay, you just took the A out of her name. You're throwing me a screwball there, Claire Sylvia. Maybe we'll do her later tonight. What, they uh, they did a Costco video, right? Yeah, Family of 13, Costco haul. What else did she do? Or is that it? You know who we really need to catch up on is um, the age gap couple. They have two videos we need to catch up on. Uh, 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 you know. Nothing can touch me. Oh, God. And I have to do an Amber Lynn video. Good Lord. Look at this. How I feel about my exes. Monthly weight update and huge Trader Joe's haul. Um, okay. I wonder if she's still in the 480s. That'll be exciting to watch later. But for now, what did we leave off on? It was her like, oh, wait, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Chantal was supposed to stream Masa al Bees. Masa al Krayer. al -Krayer? Is that how you pronounce that word? Oh, she just finished it. Well, do we want to do that? The one that she just finished? Morning, or do we want to start with Morning Coffee Bees? I kind of want to do the one that's most up to date, if that's cool with y'all. Welcome to my world. Thanks for being here. Sorry, Hazel Eyes. I guess it's this one. I'm such an idiot. Gosh. Oh shit, what happened? Well, I don't that's like how Napoleon Dynamite says, gosh. Tina, come eat your uh, quesadilla. Gosh. Except it's Chantal. Has the um, Napoleon Dynamite actor been in anything recently? I mean, I know that he did Blades of Glory, but other than that, I kind of forgot about him. What's the tea? I don't know. Apparently there's tea. Hi, Tisha. Hi, meow, mate. Hello, Lori. Hi, CC Viz. Uh, nothing inside. 
Does Jordy own birds or is it the outdoor birds? So here's the thing. My office gets very hot. My computer creates a lot of heat. So I melt in here if I don't open up that window. So unfortunately, we have to hear the birds squeak and squawk if I am not to burn. It's the trade-off. Would you ever do Hungry Fat Chick? I just, like, don't think that she's very problematic. You know what I mean? Like, I, I like problematic people. I like getting in the mud. I don't want to just, like, watch someone eat. That's boring. That's boring. It's like, okay, you're 400 pounds. Well, are you, like, a problematic shithead, or are you just 400 pounds? If you're just 400 pounds, I mean... Okay. <laughs> you know what I mean? So probably not, to answer your question. Hi, Tia. Hi, Tia Coffee. Hi, Hassan. Oh, thank you so much, Alice. That's a unique way to spell Alice. I've never seen it spelled that way. Hungry Fat Chick used to do corn. Really? Well, didn't Nikocado used to do corn? Like, or maybe he still does corn. He, uh, he has OF, right? No. Um, Oceano Bruja. Thank you so much for gifting a subscription to Water Fairy Leo. That was really kind of you to do. Thank you for doing that. We both appreciate it. All right. Let's listen to what she's upset about. I don't know if people will think it's the other one or not, but... Oh. Hey, Brenda. It's just you and me here. Jenna, Kennedy, Lulu, Sambosa misses me. Justine, Brenda, maybe. Hi, Marbles. Love the sound of rain. Stephanie, green grapes, enchanted charcoals, cherry pie, Annie... Gemini Gem, Gem. Shimpy, hey! The audio is better. Masa means good evening. Golden Girl, hi! In Arabic. Lisa P, Caroline, hi Tracy. Pink Pony Club. Lynn, doll. What's the problem? You missed the coffee bees? We'll have another coffee right now. You saw the last eclipse? Okay, so it's still winter in Cornwall. Um, let me move my head. So there's snow on the ground. Um, homegirl here has the window cracked. Is she hot? So instead of running the air conditioning, she's just cracked the window to let the cool, wintry air caress her hypertensed skin. That was kind of poetic. Huh. Maybe Amber Lynn could write a poem about that. Maybe Amber Lynn could write a poem about cold Arctic air caressing the skin of a woman in severe hypertension. That could win like the, uh, I don't know. What's like the what's like an award for poem people? What's like a poetry award? Or like a literature award? I mean, I don't know. Rain and Petals Eve's Drop should have been nominated for something. But uh Or her car just smells. You think her car smells? Now, why would you hold on, let's let's explore that for a second. Why would Chantal's car smells smell? Um, I mean, she eats basically every meal in here. Um, she is a moisturized person through sweat. And um, her body is in it for hours on end. Um, machine gun farts. But, like, what about all those things would make her car smell? I'm not really following. 
So what are you saying? Like the mixture of sweat, BO, farts, and takeout? You think that that lingers in the car? Why doesn't she just, well, I mean, if it does, like I'm, I'm not following, but if it does, why doesn't she just get one of those like little tree air freshener things, the, the black ice, you know, two day old takeout chicken? Well, that would imply that there is chicken left over, Violet. Here's the thing, y'all. If you're going to come for her, please make sure that your argument is a sound one before you type in the chat. I don't want y'all to sound like idiots because I'm just not following with all this. Wasn't she wearing that outfit yesterday? I don't know, was she? No, she wore some like... Oh, wait. They just look similar. She wore she wore a whole like black thing yesterday and then the day before that she wore some like purple thing. This is like a little bit different. It's similar, so that's probably why you thought that. Oh, this is a lovely freeze frame. The Montreal Poetry Prize. Wow, you can win a poetry Competition for $20,000? Whoa! Chantal could pay off a fraction of one of her bankruptcies if she won that. That's exciting. Jordy, I don't like you on that side. I'm sorry. <sighs> I love how catty we are. I'm a dog person. So what are you talking about? How much did I miss? You missed loads of content. Oh my God. These first two minutes and 36 seconds, she went off. Oh my God. I would replay it. I would replay it, but that wouldn't be fair to everyone else. We got to keep it moving. I'm sorry. I hope someone's taking care of her cat. Well, we know that one of the cats is being taken care of. Back in your corner, Jordy. <laughs> uh. Yeah, okay. No, Jenna, I'm married. <laughs> I'm married. What about our glasses? Because I need them. I've needed glasses, new glasses for a while. <laughs> so, hi, Mike. Poutine. Why are you guys asking me questions? No. Hi, Louise! Um, yeah, I did go in the, to the apartment, yeah. Oh, shit. What's for dinner? Well, how's she going to get an apartment with her credit? How's that going to work? Oh, is she bringing uh, What's-His-Face back on the cast? Hey, will you co-sign for this dipshit? <laughs> hey, you can be useful to me again. Come co-sign this apartment lease. <laughs> oh God. Dinner. Nothing. I'm very tired. Do not use Roman for your moving truck needs. <laughs> That's right. He had a moving like truck or something, eh? I remember that. Am I sad? I'm like a mix of emotions. Maybe I just want to talk them out. Like, I feel like, without getting too personal, you know, but if I could describe the level of conflicted i feel inside myself amc happy belated birthday thank you amc that's nice of you thank you 
Cute cat, Danielle. It's Masa Halkir. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'll have to um, edit it after. Are you aware of any court cases? No. Against me? Hi, Mike. Yeah, it is. Buy a new car. <laughs> no, I just, it's. <sighs> I don't know. Like, I'm staying here. Don't worry about it. But I'm, I'm very, sometimes, not always, sometimes I get sad. I don't know. Eh, I can't roll up my window. Sad about what? Uh, I can't see the bum that I'm financing in person, and that makes me upset. Is is that is that the mix of emotions here that she's describing? Can you put her on two times? I can definitely speed her up. I don't know about two times, but I'll we'll start with one point two five. She's so winded. All right, we'll do 1.5. She makes me feel out of breath. I mean, would like albuterol help her? Or do you like, I mean, albuterol like opens up your lungs. If her lungs are already open, and she just can't breathe like because of all the adipose tissue, then I don't even know if that would help. I mean, is is let me ask this, like any doctors in the chat, is albuterol specifically for asthmatics? Or can fat people take it too? And I know that this is like a band-aid to a bigger issue, but like sometimes fixing the symptom or helping the symptom can provide temporary relief. She's had an inhaler before. Really? <laughs> she would need an oxygen tank. Oh, you know what? That would actually probably make more sense. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, supplemental oxygen. You know how, like, um, when people climb a mountain and they need supplemental oxygen, like people who get to, like, uh, really high peaks of Mount Everest and you see them in documentaries with supplemental oxygen? It'd be like that, but, like, you're on, like, sea level. God, that'd be terrifying. I'm sure we have tons of doctors here. What do you mean by that? That someone with the intellect of achieving an MD or a DO wouldn't be spending their free time watching this? Is that what you're saying? Calling everybody stupid? <laughs> uh. Send her to the ozone layer. Doesn't the ozone have a hole in it? Hey, hang me, hang with me here for a second. The ozone has a hole in it, correct? Does the ozone have a hole in it? The ozone hole is basically a human-caused hole. It shields us from harmful UV rays that come from the sun. Okay, so there's a hole in the ozone that was created by humans. So that means that humans could fix that hole that they caused in the first place. And how do you fix a hole? Well, you plug it up with something. <laughs> I, I mean hey people donate their body to science and organ donors like I'm pretty sure I'm an organ donor on my driver's license how is this any different <laughs> duct tape <laughs> There's no hole anymore. I don't know. Miss Google said that there is. 
stupid. The eclipse is Monday, I thought. I keep falling asleep, send help. Just get a Red Bull. That's what I always do when I'm feeling tired, Star Family. Just drink another Red Bull. Um, who is that? Carbonated Canary, thanks for the bits. Um, Pastel Milky Acid, very unique username. Thank you so much for subscribing with Prime. We're happy to have you as a subscriber on Twitch. The ozone is fake, just like the moon. You know what? You're probably right. All this climate change BS. You're probably right. What's that little bitch always screaming, Greta? Uh, in, you know what? No. We're, we're not paying this anymore, mind. Continue, Chantal. I'm going to have to figure out, like, how to make my life productive and fulfilling here. Degrassi. Hi, Michelle. I'm going to what you did for your birthday. Um... I'm sure you can guess what I had to eat. We went out for dinner and uh, just watched movies. Hi, PMAC! No, it's not. Well, it's not better than the villa, but Passenger Princess. Yeah, I do, actually. I do. This is really hard being in a long distance relationship. I feel like really bad. Paneer, no. <laughs> It's really hard being in a long distance relationship. Well, when you weren't in a long distance relationship, he was never there. <laughs> so as long as you're living in the same city where he goes out and ignores you, it's okay. <laughs> a long distance relationship. Oh my God. It's not a facade. What makes you say that? Like, seriously, like, I don't understand the grounds. It's real. I miss my family over there. Of course I do. I spent like an, a year and a half getting used to that. So, but at the same time, I recognize like I need to be here right now. So, what can I do? Is the audio bad again? Brit, I don't know. Hi, Melissa. Yeah, Taco Bell. Nice. Distance makes the heart grow fonder. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> Mexican pizza. Thanks, KW! Audio is fine. Okay, so now you trolls can stop saying it's bad audio, okay? No, I'm just joking. I can't breathe. My anxiety is always bad. <laughs> oh my god, Hassan. <laughs> he was working! <laughs> I forgot. Yeah, that's, that's where he was all those hours. Yeah, all those days that we didn't see him. Yeah, he was working. He was running his business that he owns. <laughs> Oh my god. You think she's high? Jordy's showing off his post Ozempic collarbones. Oh my god. <laughs> Yesterday I was trauma dumping. Today I'm showing off. <laughs> I'll have you know, this, this collarbone, I have broken this before. Mm hmm. I haven't always been so kind to these collarbones. Yeah, I'm sure his heart is growing fonder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Absence makes the heart grow fonder. I mean, our heart's growing, but in a medically concerning way, not in like a cutesy romantic way. How did you even manage to break a collarbone? Collarbones, collarbones actually break very easily. Um, it was I was in a car accident. Jordy's body checking. <laughs> oh, I I think I'm back. Speaking of body checking, I think that I'm going to make a little uh, video poo on uh, Ms. Cooney. There's some things to be chatted about. <sighs> mm hmm. Yeah. Behind the scenes, she is. Uh, She's uh, acting a fool, basically. She's acting a fool. That's all I'm going to say. He's morphing into Eugenia. <sighs> I could start going live on TikTok instead of doing this. 
Would y'all want that? Jessica Adams, thank you so much for the elephant! Sorry for breaking your eardrum if you're listening to headphones. That just kind of happened. I don't know what it is. There's a certain level of like, um, like things you don't have to worry about over there, you know? Anyway, hi Isla! Or is it Isla? I don't miss the snow. Hi, this guy just went in his car, rolled up all the, like his windows are rolled up and he's light, he light, he lit a dart. Yes, we're gonna bees, always smile. What is beesing? What are we gonna do to bees? Hi Nosferatu's! How old is Sam anyways? Oh yeah, I can't ever leave here without Sam. Poor Sam. I wonder if he'll remember me. <laughs> Making music off your current sadness. Yeah, I guess. Black Sally and Diva, I had to pop in to show some love. I pray your day as well. I'm loving the glasses, girl. I hope all is well with you. Lovely chatters as well. I'm about to eat and watch some gaming. Enjoy, Black Sally, and thanks for coming in here and saying hey. <laughs> My day's okay. Off and on, you know. I'm tired. Which gaming? Is she gonna say anything, like, substantial? It's hard seeing pictures of, like, Salah and Julia. You know, oh my god, it's hard seeing pictures of them. She's cosplaying, feeling like she's missing her husband. She really does live in another universe. I mean, I turned it up to 1.5 playback speed. I could make it go faster, but... And how we... <laughs> but it's also hard without, you know, things here, so I don't know what to do. Yeah, I'm home. Yeah. No cat will forget my place. Just stop. Will you show us Sam when you get him back? Duh. Hi, Teardrop! Okay, have a good night, Tablexillion. Hey, Ted! <sighs> We're all running catnip. Yeah, I have to focus. I really, yeah, you're right. I gave it away, A+. Plus. I'm not- Does it look like Thailand? Hi, Bailey Brooke! You need cat stuff now, yeah. I need a 4XL cat litter box. <laughs> Sorry, my teeth are gonna be all kernely and brown, just- Sam, why do you need a plus size litter box, why? Sam! I better calm down, probably on surveillance. They probably think I'm weird. Your heart wants- uh, Cats don't need a quirky accent. They need veterinarian care. Food, water, their litter box cleaned. They don't need you going, Sam! What the F was that voice? She does that when she talks to the cat. What do you mean she never says anything substantial? I mean, normally Chantal's on here doing a whole lot. She's uh, twirling plates on sticks and juggling pins and fire dancing. And there's a whole lot of exciting stuff normally happening in these videos. Today, she's just kind of sitting and talking. It's something I'm not used to. Did she just attempt carp Cartman? <laughs> oh my god. There's an AI cover of Bring Me to Life by Evanescence of Cartman singing it, and it's so good. <laughs> I thought we did this video. No, this is a different video. Believe it or not, this is a new video. <laughs> I mean, can she at least find somewhere interesting to park? You know, like, I would much prefer looking at, I don't know, like, cars driving by than just trees. You know? Gulping gravy. Yeah, I, I mean, can we just, like, do a little bit more than look at trees and watch her drink gravy? That's cool, wait. Yeah, it does right now, because it's just been, I just ripped myself away from there. And you know, I do all this to myself, all this impulsive sh This is what being impulsive gets you! I'm, I'm serious, this is what impulsive gets you. Like, I created a whole other life, but don't regret it. I really miss it. <laughs> but maybe I can, like, set up base here and over there and, you know, still live my set life. Set up but... base. I don't know. She really does think... That she's going to be the 40-year-old 
bariatric Hannah Montana. She really thinks like it's going to be like best of both worlds. I mean, when she's in Canada, she's Miley Cyrus. And then when she goes to the Middle East, she's Hannah Montana. That's what she's really going for here. Set up base in both places. Do you hear the words coming out of her mouth? Good God. Emma Weenie, thank you so much for the super sticker. Appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, Emma. Carbonated Canary, thank you so much for the more bits. Five hundo. Appreciate that. I love Hannah Montana. Well, then you're going to love Chantal Sereau. <laughs> she sounds single, not married. So what are you saying? She's not married? What are you, what are you getting at? you saying she's not married? She has a ring on her finger. What do you mean she's not married? I don't know. Think, think that one out a little bit more. Because she's definitely married. She's definitely in a loving marriage. The atmosphere is very Blair Witch. You know that scene at the end of Blair Witch? Of the person staring at the wall turned around? This. It's this. So I, I I would really appreciate it if someone were to recreate this video. Sorry, this this photo. <laughs> but it's Chantal standing here turned around. <laughs> The Blair Sandwich Project. <laughs> That's cute. The Blair Sandwich. <laughs> oh my god. That looks like my aesthetic. <laughs> oh my god. Mary, hey there. Hope your evening's going well. Appreciate that. Thank you so much. To answer your question, I'm traveling from Michigan to see Pop Baby because I'm weird, probably. I may have a gift as a thank you for the joy that you bring. You're joking. You're going to travel all the way from Michigan to see Pop Baby. <laughs> Mary, you are crazy. Holy cow. Well, if I see you there, that'd be cool. Thanks so much for the super chat. The Beezer Witch Project. Honestly, like, if Chantal were to, like, walk out into these woods and just, like, film herself, I, I don't know, like, in the woods, that would be leaps and bounds more entertaining than her just sitting in the car. But, I mean, hey, you gotta you gotta pick and choose your battles, right? I mean, if we're hyperventilating sitting in the car, not doing anything, filming some scenes of the Blair Sandwich project probably wouldn't be a great idea. And it's even harder to breathe in cold air. So that's like an added hazard. How long have you been live? 34 minutes. Hey, me. My life, yeah. Doesn't feel like my own sometimes. Yeah, no, it's probably fans. Beezer. Welcome back, fans. Beezer. Welcome back, fans. Beezer. Good to have you back. <laughs> I'm just warning you, Lay, that's all. <sighs> what do I feels like? I know. I don't want to be in cold. Look at my, I wanted to free the chin. There we go. I don't want to be in the hottest country in the summer. This is not working out. Thanks, Ben Tony. Hey, Chantal. Hey, Chantal. How are you? How are you, Missy Mills? Shut up, Lay. Tracy's coming for blood. What is this live? A really big life crisis. Cookie oat latte. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's good, eh? She 
is definitely going to go back to the Middle East as soon as whatever's going on resolves itself. She is doing a piss poor job of trying to convince the audience that she moved back to Canada on her own volition. Well, you know, there's a lot of reasons why I should be here. I can get free health care. It's a lot less hot here. I'm near family. I can take care of Sam. Like, she gives us these little piss-ass reasons as to why she's in Canada. Girl, we know that if you could be up his ass living in the Middle East forever, you would be. You don't give a shit about your health. You don't give a shit about Sam. You don't give a shit about how hot it is. You stay inside anyway. I think she's comfortable in Canada. She's definitely more comfortable in Canada. But... This isn't where she wants to be. Chantal will go to the ends of the earth for a man's approval or to give off the facade that she is married. She can't really do that in Canada. Doesn't her visa run out? It ran out this week, the first week of April. So this is why she's back here. Who is Sam? About a year and a half, well, no, About 14 months ago, Chantal came back here to give up her cats because she wanted to live in the Middle East full time. So she had two cats, BBJ and Sam. Sam she gave to someone that we don't know. And then the other cat, BBJ, who is an elderly cat, had a lot of medical problems and a reaction channel actually catfished Chantal into giving her the cat. So she pulled one over on Chantal, got the cat medical attention, and then we found out that the cat had all these issues that resulted of neglect. Why isn't her husband with her? Well, he doesn't have residency in Canada, so he can't be here. He's like... He's an expat. He, he's, a, he's, he's originally from Syria, but he's an expat living in Kuwait. And I think that it's his hope that Chantal can get him citizenship in Canada one day. Um, Bubbles, thank you so much for the super chat. Do we have Blossom and Buttercup in the chat as well? Asking for a friend. Hi, Jordy in chat. Not to trauma dump, but... Oh! See? Hey, listen, y'all. You're allowed to trauma dump in the super chats as long as you preface it with not to trauma dump. Okay? That's how it works. That's how it works. Bubbles here just found a loophole. (laughs) not to trauma dump but i'm having a rough day and i'm trying to get my baby to sleep and you guys are cheering me up thank y'all oh girl that's not trauma dumping are you kidding me i can imagine it's uh difficult to get your baby to sleep i've uh i've done that myself i've i've had a very hard time trying to get mine to sleep at times so i definitely empathize with you bubbles maybe some white noise machine Maybe some gentle rocking. Maybe, what's that little, like, thing in the air that spins around and makes a noise? That Baby's like that. Maybe you could try that. New diaper? All of these things may get your baby to calm down. I am just full of parental advice. Ask me anytime you want. But regardless, I hope your night goes well, Bubbles. Mobile? That thing that spins in the air is called a mobile? Oh, okay. Hey, Jobs are warm, yeah. Jessica, no, I miss, miss my husband and my pets. That's probably about it. And there's, like, little things, but... Anyway, I'll, um, I'll be all right. Look, my live streams can't be very eventful until I just establish a life here. I just need everyone to be patient. Please! What? My live streams can't be eventful until I establish a life here. What? 
I think that she means that she can't live stream anywhere but a random parking lot until she gets her own lease. But that implies that when she starts streaming from home, the quality of the content is going to go up. Okay, we'll, we'll put a pin in this for now. When Chantal starts streaming from her new apartment, then we should be getting better. Okay, all right, all right. It's pronounced mobile. Oh, God, this is like Pika. <laughs> Pika. <laughs> a mobile is that thing in, like, cribs that spins around and makes noise. Okay, mobile. Sorry. Well, Chantal's napkin is saying it's pronounced mobile. This is Pika. Pika. No cups of gravy, Chantal. I think she already ate. These are you weren't built for 140 degree heat. <laughs> I didn't even care about that. I was like, no way, man. I'm going. Do you think it's appropriate to constantly film yourself? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't, but people do long distance. It's not that unusual. Yeah, but oh, you think so? Gemma 420! Look at me! Ow! <laughs> Sorry for the whininess. We're here for you. We'll always be here to be. Thanks, Ted! He's not a marriage scammer. Don't insult him. Nothing about our relationship was a scam. Nice great boat! I really have nothing to offer this man. He has to support himself. Like, you know, I... It's gonna be hard here for me. So I have to worry about myself and he's helping me. But, um... Yeah, so he's not a scammer. I literally have nothing to offer him to scam me for. Just my love. <laughs> <laughs> you know when you establish you might look at people and say what an odd couple never never judge that because you know you know those little things you have with someone that are like like little special stupid things you know like the cute little things you have in relationships i miss those things maybe grace so what are the cute stupid little things that you and salah have that other relationships don't the fact that you give him an allowance the fact that you're trying to get him citizenship is that the stupid little quirky thing that most couples don't have? <laughs> Do you ever look at a couple and think, oh God, what is he doing with her? Or what is she doing with him? Well, don't judge those relationships because there might be more that meets the eye. They might have inside jokes. Or... One of them might have something to offer, such as a lot of money or residency. So don't be so quick to judge. <laughs> oh, good Lord. Do you think that she is self-convinced? That would be the spooky part. I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. I mean, we're all like leaps and bounds past, you know, rolling our eyes about all of this. But her, is she self-convinced? Hmm. You know, mermaid fairy. Thank you so much for the super chat. Appreciate that. Jordy, my birthday was last Friday and seven of us went to the emo night tour. I danced very hard to bring me to life. I thought of you in this community. And of course, ours truly, Eugenia. Love you. Oh my God. There was a bring me to life Evanescence emo night tour. Oh, did you wear your five foot tall platforms? And your black eyeshadow and your, I don't know, what else to mirror, what else do emo people wear? Or, sorry, oh, goth, my, my God. Um, I know, it was called Emo Night Tour. Okay. Uh, yeah, did you, did you do all the emo stuff? <laughs> she's homeless, basically. Well, she's living with her family. She's either staying with the mom or she's staying with... Uh, her aunt she's a typical delusional narcissist spooky spooky club kid boots yeah did you wear your spiked collar and club kid boots did you I think you can come on a tour with me Hi, Wanamate. 
Jim Carrey called me the cheese one. Are you seriously going much glee? No, not. Hi, Anala. Hey, Weezy. We did long distance. How long distance did you do? I was like a cage bird, but nobody was forcing me to stay inside. I was isolating myself. It's not like someone locked me in the apartment and was like, you know, anything I wanted to do, he would do it. It's just, my health is not good. Don't want to do anything. How can I keep up with any kind of life? So I have to try to get healthy, that's all. Whoa, 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 what do you mean? Anything that Salah wanted to do, he would do it. I just didn't want to do anything, so we didn't do anything. So you mean to tell me, Chantal, that you were the one that wanted to sit in the apartment all day and not do anything and just eat yourself to death? And bed rot? Oh, this changes everything. That's what she wanted to do. Oh. I wouldn't have thought that. I would not have thought that Chantal would have made the decision to consciously stay in the apartment 24-7 and eat. I would have thought that he was imposing that lifestyle onto her. You know, because she wasn't like this before she went to Kuwait, you know? When she was living in Canada prior to moving to out to Kuwait, Chantal was a very outgoing person, always taking walks, always out on the go, out with friends. She wasn't someone that was just cooped up in the apartment all the time. So that's actually kind of eye-opening to hear that she was the one that wanted to be isolated and stay in the apartment all the time. I wouldn't have thought that that would have been her choice. I want to sniff her car seat. Um, do I have any mods in the YouTube chat? Can you take care of... Uh, who the hell was that? Go, go ahead and take care of the car seat sniffer. Oh my god, did you really, Violet? I thought that it ended yesterday. If you could still get it today, that's awesome. Wait, is he being sarcastic? About what? <laughs> I haven't cut my hair in a while. Hi, Colleen. No, I said he did in Jenna. Of course, like, of course that will always be in my mind, but like, I don't, I can't live that way, so no. People act like you went out all the time before, you're always a homebody. Yeah. You're a Aries. <laughs> hmm. Maybe would you have, hi, Bubbles. I'm not taking any steps right now. So. So, do we think that that's an iced coffee or iced gravy? What do we What do we think, y'all? Iced coffee or iced gravy? We're gonna throw up a poll on YouTube. I want to know. What do we think? What is going down the pie hole? Hmm. I'm Aladi. Why the come salam? How are you? I'm good. Yeah, sometimes I didn't leave for a while. Like, not for big things or to do fun things. And it's gonna be too hot, but... I don't know. But yeah. It is hard to get into a doctor here, yeah. Yeah, I'm still doing cameos. Um... Toby. Toby and Michael. I have no idea who that is. Someone should be faithful no matter what. Yes. I agree. Okay, I have a question about Canada's healthcare system. So everyone gets free health care. Okay, I, I use that very loosely. Free health care. So you will get seen eventually. It might just take a very long time. Are there physicians in Canada that have private practices that you can pay to be a part of that would get you seen 
faster? Like, are more wealthy Canadians able to get access more quickly than having to wait in line with everyone else? I'm just wondering, like, the laws over there. Like, if you're a physician, are you allowed to work privately? Because wouldn't everyone want to work privately at that point then? There's private health care as well. You can get testing private. Okay. There's plenty of private doctors. Well, then what would be the incentive for a physician wanting to work for public health care? Because I feel like you would make more money in private practice. I pay to go to a private doctor. You can get testing private. I don't know many folks who use it. Richer areas get seen quicker. Yeah, I mean, I mean, just like, there are some things that are just like very expensive. Like an MRI is thousands of dollars, so that would probably be an example of something that you would want to do through the public health care system. The incentive might be bear with me helping people. <laughs> Guaranteed income. less experience so maybe I, I do you think that there are a lot of like younger doctors or maybe like doctors right out of residency working for public it's kind of like being in a lawyer like you don't you know become a partner right away you kind of have to like work your way up they're way more poor people Concierge. MRIs aren't private. Well, like, is that something you that you like? How, I mean, how long are people waiting to get an MRI? Because, I mean, obvious, like, e even if you're wealthy, you probably don't want to be paying like $4,000 out of pocket for an MRI. Carly got a private MRI. Carly, where'd you get your private MRI? <laughs> Please do not rely on the chat to educate you on this. Are you calling us all stupid, Fiona? <laughs> Did you know if you weigh too much, they deadass send you to a zoo to get an MRI? I know that for some people that are, like, super morbidly obese, they have to get weighed at farms. Like, how they, like, have livestock step onto a pad and get weighed like that. That's what they do for some people. Um, that's what they did in season one of Thousand Pound Sisters. Amy and Tammy went to a farm and stepped on one of those pads. Is Fiona on YouTube? Yeah. Fiona's very passionate about this topic, it seems. Which isn't a bad thing. Which isn't a bad thing. K Marby, thank you so much for gifting a subscription to Liz Howard. Appreciate you doing that. I'm sure Liz does too. Let us know, Liz. If you're in the chat, let us know if you're thankful. Did you tell K Marby thank you? 
Dimples by. Thank you so much for the bisexual bits. Appreciate that. K Marby gifted another subscription to Violet Hayoka. Violet, are you appreciative of K Marby sending you a subscription? We need to know. We need to know. Thanks so much, K Mar. Sorry, but who's Fiona? Um, Fiona is Shrek's wife who almost got married to Lord Farquaad, but Shrek saved the day. Oh, in the context of this conversation, Fiona is some person chatting on YouTube in the live chat. All right, 74% says that it's iced gravy. I've never seen gravy this light before. Normally the gravy that I consume is a little bit darker than this, but... You know, hey, I don't know. Maybe they put some heavy cream into it or something. <laughs> yeah. Hi, Vanessa. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that. It'll be just, just be better when I'm in my own place. But there's just something that's really depressing about it. I don't know why. Like, I feel like I've backtracked if I, if I move back here. Like a full circle. <sighs> Hi, Hucky. I don't like Taylor Swift. One, one of my Did she just say, I feel like I'd be backtracking? You're kidding me. You're shitting me. You feel like moving back to Canada would be backtracking as if you made any progress in the past year and a half living in the Middle East. Oh, my God. Backtracking. <laughs> Z. Yeah. Right now, guy. Hi, Karis, Georgie. I think your health is more. Yeah. I know. Hey, Stanley. Human can opener? That's hilarious. <laughs> hey, Breezeth. Yeah, it is scary. Hi, Jack. It's not a Nika marriage. I gotta go to the Canadian Tire and get a 3M sticky. Um, anyways, yeah, I just like feel insane. Like I can't keep like going back and forth and back and forth, but I can't decide like, you know. <laughs> Me neither, Teardrop. I don't know. Yeah. She's out of breath from reaching. Um, if it was such a struggle to reach, I, I don't even know what she touched, like her, her mirror or something, or like maybe where her phone was being propped up at. If she's hyperventilating from reaching across the dashboard of her car, I can't imagine how much of a struggle it is to reach other places. Interpret that as you may. Tangled, thank you so much for gifting a subscription. Really appreciate you doing that. Such a nice Disney movie of you to do. We appreciate Tangled. She looks exhausted. Well, what would make you think that she's out of energy or doesn't have any energy to begin with? You know? I mean... Eating a pot pie, drinking gravy, iced coffee, bed rotting. Um, this is all, from what I would think, would be a pretty good formula for a very fit, active, and energetic adult. Um, she should be teeming with energy. In Canada, we drink gravy. I thought that you guys were, like, known for syrup. I, I didn't know that, like, gravy was, like, a Canadian thing. Like, oh, yeah, we love our gravy. I never knew that. Like, when I think of Canada, I think of, okay, my Canadian stereotypes. Syrup, hockey, nice people, snow, Justin Trudeau, 
What else do I think of? Brooklyn Heights. That's about it. Give it on someone. Oh yeah, a moose. I think of a moose. A single moose, not multiple moose. Mooses, just one. Yeah, because I mean the summer over there. Not good. Sorry, I have an itchy nose. Just focus on the greater good. Hey, Paul. It's just hard not being with your husband. Like, it's really, really harder than I thought it would be. You know? I don't know. Anyway. She's insane. Oh, my God. It's just so hard being without him. We're attached at the hip when I'm in the Middle East. <laughs> this has to be like some type of like dissociative issue. Like just how can you be this detached from reality? It has to be. It has to be. I mean, I know that we can sit here, we can go, oh, she's Delulu. But, like, this is next level. This is next level. She's high. She's good, Vance Beezer. Like the eviction. She's <laughs> Anyways, yeah, he's staying there. Hi, Cassidy. I think. Don't want to rent a room. Yeah. Anyway, I don't want to be depressing again. Night's in has vacancies. Ew, there was barf. Lady Puppy, hello. Thank you. Don't cry. <laughs> Thanks for the super sticker. <laughs> Thank you, creepy. I appreciate that. Yeah, just get down. Like this is the thing. My mood's like up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. Hi, Nelly. <sighs> <laughs> okay, so when she's smoking or doing blow or eating, her mood is up. When she's sitting there hyperventilating with the window cracked, her mood is down. That sounds like a pretty nice wave to ride in life. Up, down, up, down. I'm not trying to be mean, but she's looking awful. Yeah, I mean, normally Chantal's like show-stopping. Like full, full mug beat, runway ready. Um... Yeah, th this isn't the Chantal I'm used to looking at. I'm not seeing my Bella Hadid on the screen that I normally see. Why is she breathing so heavily? Um. Well, she's made a lot of poor decisions in life, Lucy. And when you make poor decisions year after year after year, they compound on one another and you end up not being able to breathe in your car. So. That's the abridged way of why. Uh, Vi Debatis, thank you so much for subscribing on Twitch. We're happy to have you on the Twitch team. Welcome to the Members Club. Enjoy your star. Do you think she's not using her breathing machine? She 100% has to use her CPAP when she sleeps. She would suffocate if she didn't. Um, if you guys have ever listened to someone sleep that has sleep apnea... Or like severe sleep apnea. I'm not just talking about like a little bit of snoring. Because technically that's sleep apnea too. But like someone with severe untreated sleep apnea. It's terrifying to listen to them gasp for air while they 
to try to sleep. It's it it wrecks your metabolism. It wrecks like everything in your body when you don't use a CPAP. So I mean, I think that you know, as not a great version of her that we are seeing right now. I think that if she didn't have her CPAP, she would be uh, much much worse. Real sleep apnea is so scary. Oh yeah, I mean I've listened <laughs> I have listened to people gasp for air while they sleep. It's terrifying. It's terrifying. And then they wake up and they go, I wasn't snoring. <laughs> oh my god. Atina Shrewsbury, thank you so much for the super sticker. I appreciate that, Atina. Blessed be the CPAP. Not using your CPAP can contribute to heart failure. Well, I'm sure that there are other variables contributing to that already. So the CPAP is a must, basically. Baseline. I think that she has to use it. There's something missing here. Ramadan? No, I'm not doing Ramadan. Thanks for the super chat. Motel 6. <laughs> yeah, right. The deep age is missing. <laughs> I don't know what I need. I, there's something missing, but it's not... I don't know. I'm just like, no matter what situation I'm in, I'm, there's always something missing! It's freaking annoying. I don't know, creature comfort. I'm not a psychiatrist. I don't know. I'm sick of this psychiatric crap. I just want to like you know, be more settled, but I have to pick, before I can do any hard work, I have to be consistent on what I want. Like, I can't keep changing the course. Like, how can I master anything in my life that way? Hi, Blondie Barso. I don't know. Yeah, but what is it about me that's what I can figure out too cool? It's supposed to be on the 18th, my therapy session. Get a motorhome. A time to be born, a time to bees, a time to bees, and a time to bees. Yeah, SUP. <laughs> no, I have a lot of friends. I don't have enough. I don't make enough time for any of them. <laughs> for real. Yeah. I mean, I don't hate myself. I don't know what's wrong. I just maybe I don't have like faith in myself. I don't know. Anyway. Well, thanks again, witches. Ringlets? <clears throat> no. How come I can't see anything? Oh, anyways, guys. Really? Yeah, the seller comments are getting deleted because my mods, like, you know, that's why the mods, like, they respect me. They respect that, you know, my, my husband and the person I love. You know, even if, like, you don't like him, then, you know, still, it's still a respectful thing. Like, I don't know. It's like, hi, then. It's a respect thing. Not to share your opinion that I don't agree with. This is the same thing as Jeffrey and Eugenia. Free speech until it's something I don't like. I have, like, there's been, like, a handful of times that I have popped into Chantal's chat over the past six months. Where, if you watch the stream, there are people that ask her questions that are, like, problematic or give her shit for very valid things. They get deleted like that. I mean, it, it is instant that those mods go in there and delete delete stuff. Yeah, the mods respect Chantal. Uh huh. She keeps sighing and breaking out into song to cover her own breath sounds. Oh, so like instead of just sitting there mouth breathing, she keeps going and then starts singing. Oh, that's uh, that's a furtive way to go about hyperventilating. I never thought of that. Good pickup, Shannon. Good pickup. Do you say hi, Jordy? 
to you or to other people or to everyone collectively? What do you mean? Hi, I'm a YouTube. -y. Hello, Joan. Jeffrey is her only mod. I wonder who mods for her. Chantal? It's it's that dumbass. It's a teardrop and golden girl and um I don't know, I can't think of any others. It's it's these dumbass women that that love her. I just like don't know how like <laughs> Knowing everything you can about Chantal, the decisions that she makes, her past, and things that she said, it's just like, to still want to kiss her ass. Sala mods for her. <sighs> Who's your favorite person to react to? Oh, I love all my children equally. I could never answer that. Hi, Angelina. Dysamax, thank you so much for that. I've never heard of that person, but I would check into it, yeah. That sounds sexist, Jord. What if some of them are men? They're not, because in their profile photos, Teardrop and Golden Girl, well, I mean Golden Girl, there you go. And then Teardrop has a profile photo. I'm almost sure. And Sala. Okay, so Sala. You're right. There's one guy. That means it's working, Chazzy. That means it's working. Salad moderates the Arabic text. <laughs> Lady J. But um, yeah. So I'm, I'm just—I just go through these emotions, like, and I don't know like how I'm gonna feel when I go live. So sorry. Like, I just feel really torn, really sad. A lot of people have BPD. I don't know. Don't diagnose me. <laughs> Who knows? Thanks for the super chat. <sighs> Thank you, Reginald. So I don't know. I have a lot of thinking to do. I think your top foodie moments see like this is the thing like i know you guys all want this for me like holy hi okay look at this let's have fun i shock myself when i see what the hell <laughs> no, i'm annoying i'm so annoying i feel like i'm having an anxiety attack like for real i'm having an anxiety attack why did i come here oh I love you, Digimon. <laughs> I am annoying. Whoa! 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 <laughs> Whoa! What is head shrinking? I hate this thing. I gotta go to Shrek. I have to go to Canadian Tire and get 3M tape! <laughs> okay. Hey, Stacey says. Oh, I don't like sleepaway camps. I get, I get homesick. Just breathe. <laughs> Thank you, Mama Tenny. Canadian Tire Bees. No, it's not a visa run. It's supposed to be a lifestyle change. Okay, let me think of my rationalization. I can't. I get, I get bored easy. I don't know. On impulse, yep. Oh, gee. No, I did think about it for a while. I'm, I'm gonna be okay. I'm just, it's just hard. That's all. I'll come to my senses. Don't worry. It's hard when I see, like, pictures of them and when they send me pictures of we video. And then after I'm all depressed, <laughs> you know. Go home, make a plan, take action, yeah. Yeah, like, I can't be, yeah, I can't be fully happy in either. It's weird. Like, I can't be fully happy here, and I can't be fully happy there. There's things I'm missing in each situation. Like, in... Yeah. Oh. Chantal's missing something in life that's preventing her from being happy? You know, this just goes to show, y'all. This just goes to show you. When you see someone, and you think that they have it all together, and they have the perfect life, and they have everything going for them, they actually might not. 
So, I mean, this might be an example right here. You look at Chantal and you think, wow, has it all together. She just got that YouTube plaque. She has a loving husband. She's well-nourished. She's loved. She's taken care of. She's a social media icon. I mean, you see all those things on the surface and you think, whoa, really got it together. But, you know, deep down, when you peel back some layers of the onion of life, there's some problems. There's some problems. No one thought that, Jordy. Okay, well, you're entitled to your wrong opinion, Amanda. I think that there are people in the chat that thought that. Do you think she flosses? Flosses what? Her teeth? Or... Uh, she's the star of Girl World. Yeah, even the star of Girl World falls down sometimes. Even the best fall down sometimes. Why is it sped up? Because if we were to watch this on normal speed, it would be extremely painful. It's just like painful right now. It would be way worse if it was on normal. Don't finish that floss sentence. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Teardrop. Hmm. Health arc was supposed to be it, yeah. Get addicted to exercise. <laughs> uh, yeah. Anyway. I don't know, Richard. We'll see what... I don't know. I mean, obviously I'm here now, so I can't... I just... I just think of, like, what the future is. And I don't know what I want. And it's making me feel insecure and... Anxious and depressed. <laughs> I can't wait to see chubbies. Maybe what I could do is, like I said, have two bases. One here, one there. I'm afraid being apart that we're going to forget each other. Or something. I can't, like... Oh, no. She feels like being apart, they're going to forget about each other. If she's not in the Middle East to breathe down his neck, he's going to move on. That's what she's afraid of. This just... She is only in Canada because she has to be. Otherwise, her ass would be in the Middle East. She wants to be up his ass. If she could live in the marrow of his bones, she would. That is insanity. This is, this is just like fatal attraction. Except the unaliving part comes from clogged arteries, not murder. There's zero trust. Zero. Negative trust. She knows that he's going to do something. She's been dumped. You can't convince me otherwise. I don't think that she's been dumped because she's still worth keeping around if she gives him money. You know? So, like, if she'll still continue to send him money, then he'll still fake tell her, oh, yeah. But the thing is, Chantal wants to, you know, she just doesn't want to spend money and not get anything for it. Normally, when people pay for things, they expect a service to be rendered. That was the whole thing about her last season. She would give Natter as much money as she, you know, was able to. But she wanted to see him. She wanted to be with him. She wanted him to come over. She wanted to go there. She wanted to get a hotel room with him. Like, she wanted touched and, like, affirmed. She doesn't just want to be married to someone and then send the money and never see them. You know? She wants what she's paying for. 
So I don't think that she's been gotten rid of just yet because she's still useful. You know, you can still pump her for money. If she was broke, like broke, broke, he would get rid of her because then there would be nothing there left. All this travel money and you could have gone to inpatient. <laughs> well, why would we go to inpatient treatment? Have a bunch of professionals treat us and reverse some very dire behaviors in life when we could just take all that money and give it to someone on the other side of the world that says that they love me on Tinder. That sounds like a much better way to spend my money. I'm fixing all my problems with a Tinder relationship, not with professionals in inpatient. Nice try. Her taste in men is anyone. Pretty much. Yeah. We all have bone marrow. Marrow. This woman has zero self-worth. Zero. If, you, if text messages leak about your partner making fun of the fact that he can't lift you and he has a scat fetish that he wants to explore with other women and not you, but you still run back to him. There's no bottom. There, there's just no bottom to this hole. It's, it just goes on forever and ever. Sam will cheer me up. Oh my gosh. I want to say when Sam's coming back. Whenever I have my place, when I move into my new place, then. Yeah, I don't think we'll forget each other. But... Oh my god, I, I totally missed these. I'm so sorry. Um, Katie Lucier, thank you so much for that. New game I'm playing tonight. Take a hit of the jazz cabbage every time Chantal touches her hijab. <laughs> You must be on the roof, Katie. Thank you so much for that. Alexandria, I appreciate that. I had a laparoscopic appendectomy and I've been recovering for two weeks. I would go crazy without this community. Thank you all for keeping me company. Well, we're happy to have you, Alexandria. Thanks for hanging out with us. Hope your recovery's going well. You'll be good as new as soon as you know it. The cat's damn meow. Thanks for the bits. Heart never forgets. No, I'm not broke. I'll, I think I'll just go back and forth until we decide. Like, I don't know. I'm nervous about having him come here with me because, like, there, I feel like I guess like he's I'm, like he takes care of me there. But me, like, I, I don't know. I would like be the one responsible, like, to take care of somebody like around a, for a weird country for them. And I, I don't know, like, you know, <laughs> it scares me. You need to give your body rest from flying. I don't want to go through that again. Oh my gosh, I don't know how I got through it last time. <laughs> If it's meant to be, it will be. That's true. It's a lot if you bring him here or there. I can't travel with Sam. I keep thinking how I can do it. Like, I can't imagine how arduous the travel is and then having to worry about a 15-pound cat. He's a big boy. Why is he chubby? Why is he so fat and chubby? Why is he so fat and chubby? Anyway. I need Sam. <laughs> I loved him so much. You'll see all the, you'll see all the hot Canadian girls alive. <laughs> Whatever, that doesn't, like, it would hurt at first, but if, like, for me, whatever, if a guy, like, honestly, from now on, I vow to myself, never let myself get, like, torn up over, if somebody does that, like, you know, if that ever happens again or anything like that sideways happens, that'll just be it, that's all. It just wasn't meant to be. Can you say hi to my girlfriend, Chris? She oh, my you. God. Chris Marie, hi. Who does she think that she's fooling? You know, if I ever get with a guy and then he starts to have eyes for other women, I'll just kind of, you know, accept defeat and say, well... Then it wasn't meant to be. Because <laughs> that's what she did with Dee Dee. That's exactly what she did with Dee Dee, right? <laughs> oh my God. <sighs> A 50 pound cat. 
Sam's big. I mean, I don't think he's 50 pounds, but... But I don't know, like, Sam was, like, malnourished, too. Well, I mean, this this has been, like, over a year now, so maybe he's not anymore. What about BBJ? I think that she understands that BBJ will not be <laughs> something that she's able to get back. Was Sam the cat that bit her? Yes. I have I have the picture. Oh, I mean, you, you can just Google like just Google like foodie beauty bit cat. It would it'll probably come up. Sam is fifteen pounds. She said fifteen. Oh, okay. You're just deaf. It happens. I thought she said fifty two. If a girl is able to take your man, she's doing you a favor. That might be a pretty healthy way to look at it, actually. If they're able to be taken by someone else, maybe they weren't, were, were, were not worth having to begin with. I like it. I like it. Hey, Chris! Oh, thank you. That means a lot. Lots of love. <laughs> like giving it another honest effort, and that's, you know, as far as it goes. So I don't worry about those hypothetical things, you know? People have eyes we can look. Yeah. She just got done saying, oh my gosh, what if we forget about each other? And now she's saying, well, I don't worry about hypotheticals. <laughs> Did she finish her cup of iced gravy yet? Um, yeah, I think that what she's doing is she's waiting for the ice to melt so that it creates a little bit more residue at the bottom of the cup that she can down. So we're waiting on the ice to melt before we do one big swig. I don't honestly, I don't do that. I don't care like anymore. I just want to live my, I just want to live like an old lady. Oh, I will always be Canada, not necessarily. I don't want to live here forever. I don't. We both want to travel, but like that's the problem. We made this like whole plan, whole pact to travel and starting with Thailand. But you're, you know, you're right. If you're healthy, you're not healthy. You can't do anything hardly. So, I mean, for somebody with my health issues, I think I push myself a lot. Okay. Like be my size with my health issues. <laughs> <laughs> Someone at my size. I feel like I push myself a lot. This is the same woman who didn't leave the apartment for like a year straight. <laughs> I feel like I push myself a lot. <laughs> what, because you flew on a plane for 18 hours? You push yourself a lot? You sat in an uncomfortable chair for... <laughs> I push myself a lot. <laughs> oh my god. The only reason she went to Thailand is because she had to. Not because she wanted to travel. Oh, we want to see the world together. We both have this wanderlust in our veins that must be satisfied. No, Chantal likes to sit around and eat and not do anything. Bed rot. She doesn't have a travel bug. I feel like I push myself. Oh my God, I have to listen to that again. Hardly. So, I mean, for somebody with my health issues, I think I push myself a lot. Okay. Like, be my size with my health issues. Oh my god, she sounds like Tammy Slayton. Be my size, Amy. You don't know what it's like. <laughs> I feel like I push myself a lot. Yeah, you, you don't. Here, oh my god, I have to watch that. You don't know how it is, Amy. Try being my size, Amy. You don't know how it is. There's All right, we're going to listen. We're going to listen side by side. Healthy, you can't do anything hardly. So, I mean, for somebody with my health issues, I think I push myself a lot. Okay? Like, be my size with my health issues. Bad sciatica, bad asthma, 
and try one of those travel days. I'm telling you, oh my gosh. Try being my size, Amy. You don't know how it is. There's stuff you can do. You want to be a big it. baby about everything. I ain't baby. You're the damn baby. Grow the up. You first. Bitch, I've been grown. I pay my bills. My bills are paid. My bills are paid. Like anxiety wise. My fake husband's paid. My fake husband's PayPal account has money in it. My bills are paid. Gosh darn it. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, her her holding up her St. Hubert's receipt of a chicken pot pie with a, a side of chicken tenders. My bills are paid! Her holding up an XL gravy. My bills are paid! And just physically, it's so hard on the body, so. But I would enjoy it more. Like, I wouldn't have to worry. Like, imagine going to your airplane gate, not having to worry about, like, you know, if how cool you're going to sit beside, how fat you are. You could just fit in the seat, you know? Nothing to worry. That's, like, a huge worry right off of you. I don't know. I try not to worry about that stuff, but. Because, like, who cares? You're never going to see that person again. You just, you know, <laughs> you did good for not feeling the best. Yeah. But thank you. Yeah. Yeah, I'm married. Mm. You could be a whole new person by 43. Yeah, true. Why the comes about Mars? Holding all the truly set. Hey, Beverly. The Zaza, what? Pizza? Chub you, it's me too. <laughs> yeah, true, Melanie. What far? I didn't even know. Yeah, Stella told me about it. Sent me a screenshot. Of the chat being like, well, she went out with a bang. I was laughing. I didn't know. Like, I thought it was ended. <laughs> I was holding it in the whole time. I'm only human. After all, don't put the blame on me. Remember that song? <laughs> oh, thanks, Mars. You too. See, I'm a spoil with me. Be quiet. He's, he was taking better care. Like, I... Oh, yes, he was. He was a strum in happiness. He was a musical guy. Wamatene. You can schedule a cruise from Canada E. They love passive medical stuff in a pool. Oh, boy. Thanks for the info. I don't know about that. Thank you. Thanks for the super chat. Ah, uh, Morrissey. Not really much anymore, Richard. <sighs> He's not abandoned. Gypsy Rose is a new man. Stop it. <laughs> Sam strumming, yeah. And he always got chicken stew. High quality. Okay? He's not eating any high items or whiskers. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but the chicken stew was the primo of the creme de la creme. So maybe, I don't care cat there. Yeah, you're right. Like the sun was too hot. I would just won't like it in my life. So, but I don't like my life without my family there. Like, <laughs> I don't. I don't like going that long. Like, you know. Fam <laughs> family. You hate me. You're from Louise. Hi, summer times. Her family. You know, scallops. Oh yeah. <laughs> no chicken and tuna. My old girl boss <laughs> started to smell like cheap metal. Traveling is too costly. <laughs> Yeah, it's like oh, it's, it's expensive the plane ticket. Gypsy's single, isn't she? Gypsy's doing corn. She got back with her ex. Really? Did she? I didn't hear that. I just heard that they they broke up. I she she launched an OF account and it was fifty dollars a month. She eats too much to get drunk. You think all the alcohol would get absorbed in the food and it wouldn't even have the opportunity to get her drunk? She gypsy cheated. <gasps> like the ex before the husband. Her ex that she was dating in prison. Oh. I'm almost positive it's $50. Gypsy. Rose. Who? 
Here it is. Oh no, this is some other Gypsy Rose. I wonder if people subscribe to this Gypsy Rose on accident thinking that it was the one. Maybe it was a fake account. Maybe she doesn't have an OF. Yeah, no, these are all these are all fake. I want I want to see the current boyfriend, Gypsy Rose boyfriend. Who who's the boyfriend? This is the this is the husband. Is this him? Is this is this the prison one? Maybe it's an April Fools joke. His name is Ken. I'm just Ken. Anywhere else Gypsy Rose would be a 10. I'm just Ken. This dude? With the hat? The guy with the hat? Him? So they're back together. Oh shit. Okay. He's in prison. What did he do to go into prison? Why is Ken in prison? Ken Gypsy Rose Prison. Gypsy holds hands with ex fiance Ken Urker. Ken, so why is, okay, Ken Urker Prison. I don't think he's in prison because they just got matching tattoos. Yeah, they're outside on the sidewalk holding hands. He looks a lot different in these photos. Oh, look, look, look. Here's their here's their matching tattoos. Look, look, look. Oh my god. It's a wolf. It's like a uh it's like a oh god, what are those things called? Si Siberian husky. How old is she? She looks young. She looks, honestly, she looks like she's my age. Is this him? I mean, he just looks like a normal dude. She's old? She's 32? She looks, I, I think that she looks young. Oh no, she's smoking a cigarette with Ken. Oh, to be sitting on a newspaper stand box thing, watching Gypsy Rose smoke a cigarette. Some people have it all. Um, y'all want to know something crazy? I had never heard about this woman until she like got out of prison. <laughs> <laughs> 32 is not old. No, I don't think the 32 is old at all. I think that she looks younger than 32. Ken is not in prison. Yeah, I didn't think so, according to those pictures. So whoever said that, here, I'm going to go up and block them. What, where is, where, who, who said that? Who said that? I'll find you. Mods? Ready the hounds. Look up Gypsy Rose Ken. 1800 wrong number. It was you that said Ken was in prison. 
all right, 1800, wrong number. You are officially on trial. How do you plead? (laughs) How do you plead? The HBO documentary is fascinating. Are you a smoker? No. (laughs) Hounds are ready. (laughs) Oh my god. You still have mods? Didn't they all get the boot? We did a big mod purge when all the Wolfgang drama went on. (laughs) Oh my god. (laughs) Wolfgang gate. What happened with Wolfgang? Oh my god. Hmm. 1800 wrong numbers gonna plead insanity. Is this over? Is this video over? (laughs) Depends what airline you go with. I usually go with Qatar, but the Air Canada seats are a lot bigger. Yeah, Monica, I think so. I can always go back and visit, yeah, with the handsome man. And then, cheesesteak. Yes, I put a down payment. In a parking lot, Mia, yeah. Rat face. Okay, I gotta go. Like, I gotta go for the night. Yeah, the food, yeah, too cool. No, I, I agree, but the seating on the Airbus A330. Yeah, I have airline rewards. So, uh, well, we were thinking of like going to Malaysia for a while. A lot of Muslims are going there. Shock towel. I'm living in a shack. No, alhamdulillah, it's going to be a really, it's a decent place that I want to move into, so. Oh, no, GH, yuck. Sorry to hear that. Okay. Oh, here's what we're going to do. We are going to stop this. I think that we've suffered enough. We are going to thank B for their super chat. Thank you so much, B. She looks like an obese vampire from Blade 2. Blade 2 vampire. Why are they like NSFW? Oh, they are kind of spooky looking. Ooh, I don't know if I want to pull this up on the big screen. This is pretty spooky looking. Okay, um, I appreciate the reference, but unfortunately I can't share that on the screen. That looks a little, uh, a lot. Okay, so we are going to stop here. What we're going to do, I think, is about in an hour and a half-ish, ish, I'm leaving myself that buffer room. We're going to do Alicia and the age gap couple. So we will be back. If you are going to bed, there will be a rerun uploaded on one of my two channels tomorrow. So look for it if you care to. I appreciate everyone hanging out tonight in the foodie booty, uh, enthralling, invigorating, exciting car stream. Appreciate all the bits, all the super chatters, all the members. You all rock. We are going to be back soon-ish, so if you are uh, a night owl or someone in a goofy time zone, you shall see me very, very soon. <laughs>